follow me, I have a secret to show you. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Susan Clark, and greetings from Carmel Madesi, California. We're here in the secret garden, isn't it fabulous? It's right behind Pilgrim's Way Bookstore. It's so wonderful to have a great bookstore here in town. Features many local artists and wide selection of books. Today, we're going to visit with a couple of our local artists, and we'll top it off at the end of the afternoon with a nice wine tasting. Come on, let's go. We're here with uh, Jennifer Perlmutter, and this is her gallery and all of her work. And I know you're very involved in the community of our little village, our little seaside village itself. Tell us of some of the projects that you've done. I love getting involved and um, giving back. I've done work with the Chamber of Commerce. We uh, painted hearts one year. We did dogs last year. We're doing dogs again. So, you know, things like that and anything involving youth too. I'm part of the Science, um, California Arts and Science Institute, which oh, contributes to youth education and yes. scholarship. This is, this is called Raw Honey and it's absolutely okay. a bee painting because it has the activity and frenzy of a beehive and, and bees doing their thing. But this was very much inspired by the color of um, honey and beeswax. A lot of my paintings are either just acrylic um, using different latex and material or also um, collage or using both. So I can show you a little bit about um, how I begin a painting or mix up some colors. Let's do that. Yeah. Eddie. It's Hi, good to see you again. Hi, I'm nice so glad you. you invited me to come and see you in your beautiful gallery. And I see a very handsome man <laughs> behind you. I think his name is Brad. Yes, you're right. What's the story behind that? So uh, I painted Brad because uh, many people know that he bought a house in Carmel. Hey, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> and you have yeah. all these wonderful paintings on the wall. We're just surrounded by, and mm -hmm. Audrey Hepburn, of course, is one of my favorites. You also have a whole clothing line with your paintings on the clothing. Right. How did that all happen? Uh, so do you see that painting up there? Yes. So that is the original abstract painting there. Okay. And I upload that into the computer and the company in Canada will print oh, this on this gosh. fabric and cut it and make it into scarves and kimonos and dresses. And they and do the whole printing process. They do the whole process. So all I need to do is paint and upload into the computer. Oh, well that's voila. great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> wow, I love it. <laughs> oh no, Geraldine's not here. I was hoping to show you her unique and fabulous designs. I just love them, but she's not here, so we'll have to catch her next time. Graham. Hi, Susan. Thank you for inviting us okay. here. We're so excited to taste some of your wines. Of course. Well, we're excited to have you here and have you taste some of the wines okay, and share our story with you. Tell me about how the wines are raised. So we kind of were founded with the idea that sustainability in wine, the best wine comes from taking care of the land as well as mm -hmm. the people that work it. So we're completely 100% powered by wind. You'll probably notice that picture up there. Wow. We built a 400 foot turbine, which powers the entire winemaking facility out there, as well as 125 homes in the Greenfield area. So again, giving back kind of to that community that oh, we're a part wonderful. of it as well, and making sure you notice all of our wines will say wind powered wines, really applying those good agricultural farming practices mm -hmm. to, to the grape growing process.
Thanks for exploring Carmel by the Sea with me today. We've met some amazing artists and tasted some fabulous wines. I'm Susan Clark, your host for American Dream TV.